Shalom, everybody. Shalom, what the fuck am I saying? Before this video starts, I want to thank you for the support on my unturned videos. It's kind of funny how I announced my thank you for 300 subscribers literally one month ago, and at that point, I already had 318 subs. By the way, at 400 subs, I will be doing the entire Shrek script like I did with 300 subs with the B-movie script. And if you haven't watched that video, you don't have to watch the whole 50 minutes, but at least go, uh, maybe skip through it and prove to yourself that I really did read the entire B-movie script. Also, join my Discord in the description, and if you're interested in joining my new Minecraft server called Piss Lifesteal SMP, you can find that link in my Discord as well, and I'm gonna be posting videos of that to my second channel, Flonky. Now let's actually get into the video. Today I want to catch up to speed on the unturned updates, especially the recoil and movement update. Uh, I want to make this video because I've taken quite a hefty break from this game in general, and I haven't really visited these new changes yet, at least as well enough to have an actual opinion on them and not just speculate what I think. I know quite a bit about the movement update, so I kind of do know where I'm at with that. Honestly, it just felt weird for like three days, and then all of a sudden it was unturned nature. I remember the first day of this update, I was like falling off bridges and shit. But then like five days later, the update felt basically natural, but obviously it this this update did not go well with everybody. The movement update really made a stupid amount of people mad, and I think that's just because they don't like inertia in a simple game like Unturned. Like the strict PvP servers on Unturned where all the goofballs meet up at O'Leary Prison and PEI. I just find that so repetitive. And then as soon as the game makes a change with something like as big as movement, all these PvPers get completely thrown off their track. And honestly, I find it pretty funny. For me, it just gives the players something to do, something to adapt to, which I personally enjoy. One of the reasons I quit the game was because of their repetitive nature to it, and the movement update actually gave me something to adapt to. Yeah, it's fun, but it's the exact same thing over and over again. It's so repetitive. And then when a movement update comes around, it's all like willy-nilly because it's a, something you actually have to adapt to, you know, that happens in 99% of the other games. And to throw some salt on that wound for PvP servers, the recoil update. I don't see why people got so mad at this. I think it was just the same case with the movement update where it just cancelled the repetitive nature of strict PvP servers. But this update literally didn't do anything. But this isn't where my frustration ends with the reactions about this update because people are upset with third person even though it's still overpowered as a dog. Maybe instead of using third person all the time, find your enemy in third person and shoot them in first person. Third person is literally a free cam hack. Also, don't tell me the recoil update doesn't seem a little bit more realistic. The first person shooting actually looks really nice in my opinion. Let me reload. Let me go on the side of this barn here. Let me just not, just not, okay, here we go. Third person. Let me just strafe a bit to the right. And now I want to aim down. And then that's first person. First person is still overpowered as a dog. Just prone. Literally just prone. Okay, let's test eagle fire and burst. Oh my god. Now this for some reason feels so much different. Right here. That felt like the exact same. This doesn't even feel that much different, if I'm being honest. Give one. 22. What's- I don't know what the ranger thing is, but okay. I feel like, why does this eerily remind me of Counter-Strike? So it's obviously everybody knows that it's a backwards seven. Shout out to Thomas, by the way. It has that slant, and then if you try to control it, you kind of have to pull it to the left. It's weird. Because look, it goes up there, so you gotta go, you gotta, like, bring it back, you know what I'm saying? Speaking to realistic, and I don't know if I'm gonna lose anyone with this one, uh, but because of these two big updates kind of whacking pretty, uh, pretty large into the unturned player base, you know, it, it, it made people mad, it made people happy. I don't think unturned 4.0 should be pursued if these updates are gonna happen. I mean, I'll wait for it if it comes out, obviously, I'm not gonna deny a good game, but I see Unturned 3.0 already on a trajectory to becoming Unturned 4.0, and that's all I'm gonna say on that. I could make a full video on Unturned 4.0 later, but I think everybody in their lizard has done that. 
that's all for this video. I just wanted to catch up to speed on these unturned updates and how I have absolutely no issue with any of them. And I don't understand why people do. I think it's just because they don't like the end of the repetitive nature of unturned servers where you can just press A, move a tiny bit, press Q, lean, shoot your maple strike, like point and click, and then twice to the head, the person's dead, whatever. It's so repetitive and this actually gives people something to adapt to. And I really, I'm really not trying to like say anything to people who actually enjoy that side of Unturned, like a lot of people do. That's probably a very large amount of the community now. And if you like that version of Unturned, that's fine. I'm just saying like, I hope you can see these two updates as something to adapt to, kind of like how I do. And I don't even play PVP, so I can't even be fucking talking. <laughs>